We're able to harvest year round. Some days it's right off the truck, right into the mill. It's a hybrid poplar, it's called Pacific Albus. It's a neat product in the sense that it's a light wood, it's very lightweight. There's a lot of neat uses for it. Window trim, decorative framing, pallet stock. There was a couple of snowboard manufacturers that have actually incorporated our product into their snowboard line. Trees aren't exactly straight, but when we go through the scanning, what we're trying to find are these nodes. If you take that piece just by itself, that straightens the log out. So the first place we come into is the, the merchandising area. Stems themselves will go through a debarking process, and then we hit the first set of scanners. We're looking at overall diameter, profile of that stem, trying to identify the characteristics, coming up with a solution to, to optimize it for the best recovery. And then that information's fed right back into our PLC system. We have a six saw merchandising line. Based on that information, one of the upgrades that we did last year was to add the veneer plant to the process here. So now we're not only doing sawmill blocks, we're doing veneer blocks. But you get one perfect log, all you gotta do is run another one. From there, once we create the block, we bring it in, start breaking down the, the block into boards. Basically cut it up into three pieces. So this will be our center cant. And these are flitches. And then we start processing those. The scan heads are coming in from the side, creating that profile along the entire length of the, the board. And we determine where we're gonna cut that to make a board out of it. On the cants, they're obviously a little bigger. Same concept in the way that it's scanning. We're just taking two cameras, looking down on both sides, figuring out what's gonna be the best solution to determine the, the saw configuration. A lot of decision processes going on from the scanner data. You take the boards off the side. Flitches come down through here and we run them through a, a board optimizer. We're looking at it from three different angles, two from the bottom, one from the top, profiling the entire board transversely. We're utilizing it to determine trim length as well as sorting. As it goes by sideways, we can see when there's defects, we may trim that board where that defect's at. Once we figure out what we want to cut, cut it, and then it decides which bin it's going to get sent to. The optimization system is actually tracking what's in the bin. And from there it goes out into a stacking system. When we're coming through and we're, we're looking at it with, this, with the cameras, this is what we're trying to figure out, you know, how much, how much can we see, where's it out on the board, and what are we going to do to try to improve the final product. That's kind of our process in a nutshell.